and welcome to this session. In electronics, integrated circuits that is ICs are key parts of electronic circuits. Digital IC testers are important tools used to quickly and accurately check if these ICs are working properly. This session will help you understand how to use digital IC testers to test ICs effectively. Objectives At the end of this session, you will be able to Identify key hardware components of a digital IC testing device. Identify the type of package, logic family, pin numbers of the given digital IC and test the given IC using digital IC tester. IC tester parts A digital IC tester has the following hardware parts. Display unit, keypad, ZIF sockets, function indicators, current mode and result indicators, power supply and status. Let's briefly look at each of the parts. Power supply and status. Although not directly visible in the image, there will be a power supply input and a power status indicator, often an LED, that indicates when the device is powered on. Display unit. The alphanumeric display at the top shows the output results and potentially other information such as IC codes, testing modes or error messages. Keypad. Keypad with numeric key 0 to 9 is used for entering the IC number or selecting certain functions. There are also function keys F1 to F4 for performing specific operations and command keys like clear, enter and possibly auto find, pin test, loop test which align with common features of IC testers. These keys allow the user to interact with the device, input data and execute commands. Zero insertion force sockets. These are two ZIF sockets with LED indicators. ZIF sockets are designed to easily insert and remove ICs without damage. The LEDs indicate the status of the pins or the ongoing test. The sockets are where the ICs are to be tested and placed. Function indicators. The LED indicators next to the ZIF sockets could be used to display the logic levels of the IC pins during testing or to indicate which pins are being tested. Current mode and result indicators. On the display panel, there are indications for current, mode and result, which would show the current flowing through the IC, the mode of operation of the tester and the result of IC test respectively. Modes of operation of an IC tester. There are two modes in which IC tester can be operated, auto mode and manual mode. Identification of working condition of IC using digital IC tester. We will need the following tools, equipment and materials for this. Digital IC tester 1 number, digital multimeter 1 number and assorted digital ICs as required. Identification of IC parameters. For this, first let's see the part number printed on the top of the IC. This gives some basic information about the IC such as its logic function, logic family, performance, power dissipation, manufacturer and package type. Identification of IC number using an IC tester. If you don't know the IC number or if the IC number is invisible, you can identify it using the IC tester. Let's now see the steps for doing it. Step 1. Prepare the IC tester. Ensure the IC tester is turned off. Properly insert the IC into the tester's ZIF zero insertion force socket, aligning the orientation correctly, often indicated by a notch or dot on the IC. Step 2. Power on the tester. The next step is to turn on the digital IC tester. Step 3. Select the clear option. Now. Navigate to the clear option on the tester's interface. This involves pressing the clear button on the IC tester. Step 4. Initiate the search. This involves pressing the auto search button in the IC tester. Step 5. Wait for the results. The tester will take some time to check various parameters of the IC against its database. Step 6. Read the IC number. Once the tester identifies the IC, it will display the IC number on its screen. 
Note down the IC number for your reference. Step 7. Remove the IC. Power off the tester before removing the IC to avoid any damage. Let's now repeat the procedure for two more ICs. Place the second IC on the IC tester. After placing, click on the clear button. Then the screen will be cleared. Now press the auto search. After pressing, the IC number gets displayed. Now remove the IC safely and gently. Next, place the third IC on the IC tester. After placing, click on the clear button. Then the screen will be cleared. Now press the auto search. After pressing, the IC number gets displayed on the screen. Now Remove the IC safely and gently. Identification of working condition of IC using digital IC tester. It involves the following steps. Step 1. Identify the IC type. First, you need to know the type and model of the IC you are testing. Different ICs have different pin configurations and functions. So it's crucial to know exactly what you are working with. Step 2. Power off the tester. Before inserting the IC, ensure the digital IC tester is turned off to prevent any damage to both IC and the tester. Step 3. Insert the IC. Carefully insert the IC into the IC holder or ZIF zero insertion force socket of the tester. Make sure to align the IC correctly, matching its orientation to the indicated diagram on the tester. Usually, there is a notch or a dot on the IC that indicates pin 1 which should align with the corresponding mark on the IC holder. Step 4. Power on the tester. Turn on the digital IC tester. Step 5. Testing process. Once the IC is recognized, the tester will start the testing process. For that, first click on the clear button in the IC tester. Then, type the IC number on the IC tester. After typing, click on the test button on the IC tester. Step 6. Read the results. After the test is complete, the tester will display the results. This shows the IC is working in good or bad condition. Step 7. Remove the IC. If the IC is functioning correctly or once you have noted any malfunctioning, power off the tester and carefully remove the IC. Now, let's repeat the procedure for three more ICs. Place the second IC on the IC tester and power on. Then. Click the clear button. Enter the IC number which we inserted. For testing, press the test button on the IC tester. The result gets displayed. It shows whether the IC is working in good or bad condition. Now, power off the IC tester and gently remove the IC. Next, place the third IC on the IC tester. Power on the IC tester. Then. Click the clear button. Enter the IC number which we inserted. For testing, press the test button on the IC tester. The result gets displayed. It shows whether the IC is working in good or bad condition. Now, power off the IC tester and gently remove the IC. Next, place the fourth IC on the IC tester. Power on the IC tester. Then. Click the clear button. Enter the IC number which we inserted. For testing, press the test button on the IC tester. The result gets displayed. It shows whether the IC is working in good or bad condition. Now, power off the IC tester and gently remove the IC. This brings us to the end of this session. In this session, we have learned to identify key hardware components of a digital IC testing device, identify the type of package, logic family, pin numbers of the given digital IC and test the given IC using digital IC tester. Thank you for watching. See you in the next session.